So the first step is the um, our page here. We've got the NT Training Awards. Go to nominate, and from here you can, bless you, check your eligibility. So this is kind of where you can do it all in one go. Um, so rather than going into each portal, so you can just scroll down and have a look. Are you individual? Are you nominating for the organisational? And find which one best suits you. And from there, you simply just click on the link and it will take you to a page that looks like this. So in the home screen, again, this will just give you a rundown of the award that you're applying for. So this one is the Austin Ash Apprentice of the Year. So it gives you a little bit of information, a bit of a checklist. So check your eligibility, read the terms and conditions, upload, um, and obviously our contact details down here as well. So to start it off, pretty simple, start nomination. And this is just where you're putting in your personal details or the organisation's details. And you can come back in and edit this if you need to. So this is quite straightforward, either self-nominated or nominated by another party. If you're nominating someone else, like a, an employee or a trainee, let them know. It's not like a surprise, you know, you're, you're nominated. You know, chat to them because obviously, um, as Amy said, they know their story best. You might think, listen, I want to nominate you because you've been outstanding, but it's still important that they help you with the nomination as well so that we're getting the facts. So again, this is all very straightforward, personal details. Um, as we said here, you know, your full qualification, so you pop your details in. This is like a little help signal. If I can find it, it's very hard on a screen. Eh, eh, there we go. Um, so include a copy of your qualification certificate or a statement of attainment. So that's one of your five attachments. So that's just really important. Again, it's that proof that you are actually doing the training that you're claiming to be. So all of this is pretty straightforward. Employer, host employer, if applicable, and RTO. And you simply submit. And like I said, you can go back in and change that. If you have someone that changes positions, you need a different contact person, that's fine as well. Oh, it's telling me I can't go in. What do I need to fill out? Name of employer. And as you can see, it actually won't let you continue, which you know can be quite handy as well. so that you know that you haven't missed something critical. Don't worry, I won't bore you with going through everything. We like to find out how you heard about the NT Training Awards. That helps us refine our marketing in the future as well, so that we know what are the good avenues to reach people so that you can find out information. All right, so here we go into the selection criteria. <coughs> Now again, this will say um, name of organisation. If you're an organisation, you just pop that in. That will just make sure that information gets pulled through on every page that the judges are reading. So here we go. This is a selection criteria. As Amy said, the first thing you've got to do is a 300 word overview on who you are or your business or training. So again, like Amy said, write it out in a Word document. This box is quite large, but for some reason our web developers couldn't make the other boxes as large. Um, so when you're typing in, obviously it's quite hard to read and review something that only lets you see two lines at a time. So feel free, do it in a Word document, get your word count up and then copy and paste it in there. You'll also realise that it's very strict to 400 words, you cannot go a word over. So double check that you haven't copied and pasted something that's a bit long and that it's left the last sentence kind of. And I also will, you, know, you need to kind of fi finish it off. Thank you. So simply go through um, these criterions, again, making sure that you answer every point as best you can. As you go along, you are able to save as a draft. So when you log in, you're actually creating an account. So at any stage, you can just kind of go, oh, I've done enough tonight, I'll save it, pick it up another day. So that's, that's a good feature as well. A few declarations here. Again, you might just have to use a little bit of common sense. So, you know, if you're doing it on behalf of a student, you might send them the login details so that they can go through, read that themselves and tick it. Um, same with your employer. It might be you're applying for yourself. You just go, oh, hey, guys, here's the login details. This is the website. Would you like to have a read through my application? And if you agree that it's all true and you agree to release me for the judging weekend, tick here and write your name there. 
Are there any questions about this so far? No, I mean it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward as far as online forms go. You know, you have to look at the talent releases, all those bits and bobs and continue. And you'll see here the final one is a checklist. So this is just a good reminder of how to go through. You'll note that you actually won't be able to submit if you've got all of these things outstanding. So it won't let you submit a half finished nomination. You will have to actually put something in. You don't have to fill the 400 words, but you will have to put an answer into each one. And once you've pressed continue, then it will prompt you for your supporting documents. So that's the next step, which it's probably not gonna let me do. So as you see here, you'll then be able to submit up to five supporting documents. Like Amy said, if you want to do a little video to show your organisation, that's a really good idea. If you've got it, say, saved up on YouTube, perhaps it's just a, a PDF or a Word document that's got the link so that they can kind of click on that. That's acceptable as well. But each um, supporting document is just one A4 page. So you do need to think about how you're going to use those. So it might be that you've got one as your certificate of qualification. Another one is a link to a YouTube channel. Perhaps you've got your resume that highlights some of the things that you've done. You might have a support letter from an employer or a trainer or a customer or someone that you've had a really big impact on. Um, so five, I'm sure as the judges will attest, is definitely enough for them to read through. So make sure that it's, you're saying what you need to say and you don't have to use five. Are there any questions about the online nomination portal? If, it, if you're nominating as a trainer, mm -hmm. you upload your qualifications as a trainer. Yeah, yep, so they, you know, like they said, so all proof. <laughs> three, we had to update, serve for an update, serve for an uh, diploma of policing. Aha, uh -huh. all right, we'll, we'll chat about that one because you don't want to waste your three, but yeah. even if it's one that can kind of summarise. Yeah, you said four. Should yep, be. yep. Sorry, Marie, did you have a question as well? Yep. So if you are nominating a couple of individuals mm -hmm. in different categories, do you still use the same login? Do you need a different login for yep. each nomination? Yeah, so you use the same login and it's probably not going to do it for me, but um, you know. But you can go track nominations and we'll see. So this will come out, you know, so okay, I'm nominating Jade, I'm also nominating Rebecca and Brian, and you'll see that they're all status of draft. You can go in and edit them. Or you kind of go, oh, Brian quit his course, delete. No, of course that won't happen. Um, so, yeah. And then as you submit them, they'll come up, okay, I've submitted Jade's, now I'll do Rebecca's. So you'll be able to track them there. Cool. Yeah. All of the eligibility and conditions of entry are on each separate portal too. So yeah, so you can just double check. All the eligibility is different for each category, so just be mindful of that. Yeah. But that's, it's pretty straightforward. If you have any experience, any problems with the, the website and the online portal, just give Shani and I a call and we can... I have copies of the Word um, PDF today if anyone wants one, but um, once again, you copy and paste it onto the portal where the judges will be getting the nominations.